stand for? Is it going to operate under the society? What are its deliverables? And what are its future sort of USPs and what it hopes to achieve? And we thought, well, too difficult for the committee to think about in the society, so we'll get hold of, we'll create this club if we can make the constitution work. So we looked at the constitution, and as a good lawyer, I had to make a vision and see how we could create a subset within the society that operates within the Constitution, and thankfully we've got a wide-reaching Article 2 that allows us to set up all sorts of things as long as it's for the benefit of our members. There needs to be an element of culture, culture in it, so that's why we've all got glasses, because drinking good wine is culture. It's <laughs> 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 culture in the truest sense. So, when, so we, we, we thought, well, we can do it, but the other thing is, the Constitution says you can only have these subgroups, societies, subset, subsets, provided it's all members. So the answer is everyone has to join the society. Right. To be a member of the Boat Club so that we are constitutional. But that having been decided, we thought, then thought, well, we need a captain. Now, the thing about a captain of a Boat Club is you really want to try and find somebody, ideally, who has been a captain in the Navy, you're lucky. That's quite a big thing. <laughs> Which is <laughs> really Secondly, probably captain of the ship. Thirdly, now does not portray the image of a captain of a ship. In other words, becomes covert. And during the time of trying to be covert, decides that they have to change their appearance and because of you know great love of the water, that individual may perhaps decide that the way they reconfigure themselves is to enhance their buoyancy. <laughs> <laughs> no life jackets, they're needed. So <laughs> doing the rounds, who do you think we came up with as captain? Why oh, see? <laughs> <laughs> so we therefore have a captain. And under the terms of the Constitution, I'm going to present Yao Chong with a letter. But this being the Oxbridge Society, you can't just have an ox, you need to have a bridge. <laughs> so we have a vice captain. <laughs> and the vice captain is Mark Nelligan. Yeah. 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 And I want to uphold the tradition of vice. <laughs> We have vice captain, we have constitution, I now need to appoint them, and once they're appointed, we can then officially inaugurate the bird club. So, hey. Yao Chong, may I officially on behalf of the society, I'm afraid it's a long, long letter because it's got the constitution. <laughs> I've got to bring it up. <laughs> But it says, pursuant to Article 2 of the Constitution of the Society, amended version 2014, and with the consent of the President of the Committee of the Society. But, but this is the bit that's important. Boat Club will be managed by a captain and vice captain who will be tasked to establish a Boat Club committee to manage the activities of the said, the said club with good governance for the benefit of members of the society and to report back to the committee and be accountable to the committee on all matters, including finances. <laughs> accounts are to be maintained, to be consolidated with our accounts, and you present annually at the AGM. <laughs> Having to, so consented to all of this, it gives me great pleasure to appoint you as our first captain of the boat club. Thank you. <laughs> 
I don't have to think at all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the captain has a blazer. And I'm taking his sides on the blazer. We have to squeeze him into this. <laughs> and, and I tell you, if I can squeeze into this blazer, my KPI would have been achieved for my. my <laughs> So we've got, we've, we've now got the captain, we've got the vice captain, and with temerity I did some fishing, and my goodness, came up trumps. We also have a boat house, or a boat house, which is here. <laughs> so now all we do need is for everyone to shut their eyes, and Her Majesty is going to launch the club. So can you all shut your eyes for a moment, everybody? <laughs> You must shut your eyes. We are very pleased. Okay. In this our dear Cromwell country, it is our great pleasure to announce the launch of this wonderful boat club. Thank you.